Hi, in this video I want to show you how you can do some further organization using the program Adobe Bridge. Adobe Bridge is a, a pretty useful program. It's primarily useful, at least for our purposes, for organization. That's what it's intended to do. You can look at files all over your computer, move them around, rename them, um, do a lot of different functions with them. So uh, I'm going to show you just a handful of features. There's a lot to bridge that we won't cover, uh, but I want to show you a couple things we can do. Now, uh, first of all, let me just drag this over so you can see we still have these two volumes on the desktop. We've actually copied our, our files into uh, the folder on the hard drive, so we don't need this anymore. And we're just going to... Uh, we're going to eject it so that we don't accidentally bump it or forget about it. We'll just move it here. And notice that the trash can becomes an eject button. It comes off of the desktop and now it's safe, safe to pull it out of your computer and set it aside. Put it back in your camera. Okay, so we're going to leave Ideal Student on there. We want to come into Bridge. And Bridge will read whatever area you're in. Right now, I'm in the user area, so it's got all my folders of applications, downloads, all the things that are in the user area. That's not actually where we want to be for this particular function. We want to go into Computer. And you can see that if I pull up Computer, I have the Macintosh hard drive and also the external drive that I have um, plugged in. And this is where we want to work. So I'm going to double click on Ideal Student, double click on all my photos, photo 29, and 20 photos. And there's all the photos that we just copied over. Now, I know that a lot of you are thinking, oh, I don't want all those photos in there. This assignment is just, the, there's just five final ones, and there's all this stuff that's not good or that's for something else. So I want to show you how Bridge is actually a very, very useful place, uh, a useful tool for getting these organized because you can move things around, uh, see, the, see the thumbnails, make the thumbnails larger or smaller. Um, so just a, a much more efficient way of working than trying to work out of your, uh, out of your um, um, uh, uh, excuse me, out of your uh, computer. I'm actually going to just resort these. These were actually moved around. And sorting is one of the things that you can do. So it was sorted ma manually. I want to just put it in by file name. This is actually basically how things were captured. So everything's in here. Um, let me just show you how you can change the size. So we can look at these in different sizes, which is nice. We can also look at them very small, which is handy in some cases. And we can select them and do different things with them. We can scroll through either with this bar or with our, with our trackpad. Now, let's just show you first what you want to do if there's stuff that you know you, know you made a terrible mistake, you overexposed, you underexposed, uh, you don't want to even keep these files, you just want them to go away. Easy peasy, just select it, see the blue bar that comes around it, and just drag it over and drop it in the trash, and it disappears. If you wanted to get rid of more than one, let's just scroll down here. There's a number of photos on here that I know that I didn't take because I handed my camera off to someone, and I don't want to include those in this. I don't want to leave them in this folder. I'm going to make my thumbnails a little smaller so that I can see all of them at once. And it's from here all the way down to here. So to select all of these, I'm going to click. And this is exactly the same strategy that you used in the folders. Hold down the Shift key, click the last one. So I have a number of them selected. Grab the center of any of them, drag them over, and drop them in the trash. So that's a very handy thing. Now. The other thing you can do is move these around. So I'm going to scroll down, down at the bottom. Oop, and if I stop on the way and say, ooh, that one's terrible, I could just quickly drop that in the trash too. But what I want to do is go down to the bottom where I know there's a bunch of files starting here that just aren't part of this. These are personal files. These are pictures of friends or these are other things. Let's just 
for the sake of uh, the demonstration, say these are things that don't belong in my student folder. So I'm going to go ahead and select them all, as you would before. Grab the first one, go all the way to the bottom, hold the Shift key, grab the second one. You know now if I pull this back, I've got these all selected. But instead of dragging them somewhere, I'm going to go up to File, I'm going to go to Move To. Now, you notice a bunch of files pop up, including the one where I want to go, which is everything else. But I actually want to go down to Choose Folder, just so you can see what to do if your file does not pop up, which occasionally happens, um, or if it's a place you haven't gone to. So I'm going to go back into this Chooser window, find my hard drive, Go to all my photos and go to everything else because that's where I know I want to put it because they don't belong in my student file. Click open and all of those files get moved over. So I've already narrowed it down quite a bit. Now let me show you a couple other things that you can do to get organized. So let's say that you just want to get all your favorite photos up to the top. You can again uh, um, you can look through, look at each one individually, scroll down, select in your head, or there's other ways, just, just note the ones that you want to move up to the top, or that you want to, you might want to select, and you can just grab any one of them, and scroll up, and just put it up at the top. So you can select, and notice that now it's going to be up to sort manually, because you're putting it in your custom order. If you, if you uh, feel like it's easier to do, you can drop this down a little bit and you can organize them however you want. You can move them around if you want that one over there, this one up here. So you can actually reorganize them so that the ones that you want to eventually select are up at the top. Now, that's one way to do it. Then you would select all of them and we will, and I'm going to show you how to create another folder for them. But let me show you a couple other ways to actually organize them. I'm going to go back up here, put them back in by file name. Another thing you could do is to go through, instead of having to resort them out, you could just go and select them individually. So I could just select that. Then instead of holding the shift key, I hold the command key in any of the ones that I'm interested in. I can select, and then I'm able to move or um, choose those for selection. Now, the last way that might be is a little bit more sophisticated is you can actually let's move these up. You can actually use this rating system that's down on the bottom as you click on it. And let's say you just go through on all the ones that you really like that you think might be the ones you submit. You just select it, give it a five-star rating. And by the way, I'm not really looking at which one of these I like the most, but um, just picking some to demonstrate. And one more, I think that's five. And you can even check to see that it is five. There we go. Over here, it says under filter, you'll see it says that uh, you can pick the five star ratings and there are five of them. I click on that and now only those are selected. I could select them and move them anywhere I want. Let's go ahead and um, try that because what I want to do is actually create a new folder and place these into a new folder within this area. Um, so we can do this a few different ways. I'm going to go ahead and do a command all because I only have the five folders in here. I'm going to move to, I'm going to choose a folder, and I'm going to click new folder. And I'm going to call this five finals. Now this is where you need to be very careful, and I'm going to show you an alternate way to make this folder in a minute. You create it, but notice that it's actually not going where you want it to go. Let's cancel it. Try that again. Move to, 
choose folder and before you create that new folder we want to go into photo 29 20 photos and now we're going to create a new folder called five photos and create it and open now we'll go back into 20 photos oops there we go And you can see down at the bottom, there is the folder with our five final photos in it. Now, that's one way to do it. Let's actually backtrack and try a different way. I just did a Command Z to come out of that. So we have all of these files are back in here. The five finals are, are gone. So I'm just going to throw that folder out. And just like with files, with uh, photos, you can just throw this out so we can start again. Now the other way you can do this is to make the folder first from within this window and then move your files over there. So let's just do one other way. So I can do new folder. We're in here. There it is down at the bottom. I'll call this five finals. I can leave it at the bottom or I can actually, what I like to do is to just scroll up, move it up to the top, and drop it at the beginning. And then from there, I can just grab either individually or going and selecting them all at once. I'll do an individual first. I can just grab this, drop it in. The rest of them, I'll just grab all of them. Remember, I can do that command. There should be four of them. There's one more. There we go. And go to the first one. I can always, if I'm having trouble sort of navigating, I can move this down so I can see everything. Grab those. Drop them in there. And now we have the five finals in there. So those are various ways that you can play with this. It's a fairly intuitive program. If you get lost, um, just take a deep breath, go back, everything should be there, and uh, work on it again. So all of these are now ready to go. When you go into Canvas and you upload, you just look for this folder, and those are the ones that you upload. So I hope that helps you get started on your organizational system.